back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a snowboard gear list for the upcoming 2021 season. So I'm going to break this into five different parts. We're going to do accessories, hard goods, outerwear, GoPro equipment, and then waxing equipment. The first accessory we have are goggles. So this year I'm going to be using the white, black, and blue Smith goggles. And I chose these because they're like really practical and they're very comfortable. So the second accessory I have are crab grab mitts. These are, they're good for colder temperatures, but I also have another pair of crab grab mitts, which are a little bit warmer temperatures. But I also have gloves that I made by myself. They're toe rope gloves and they're super good for the toe rope so your hands don't get tired and I highly recommend them. So the next accessory I have are SA face masks. So these face masks are really good for colder temperatures, but they're also good for warmer temperatures because they're not too thick, but they keep your face warm at the same time. So the next accessory I have is just a beanie from my hometown hill, Little Switzerland. And this is a nice beanie to go under your helmet or just to wear anywhere you want. So the first thing on my hard goods is my boots. So these are K2 boots. They're really good. They have the BOA system, which I really like the BOA system to keep your foot sturdy. And they have a mid flex, so it's not too stiff, but you have some room to move around in. So the board I'm going to be riding this season is the Salmon Lotus. I just recently picked it up. It's a really good board. It is great flex and perfect for the park. And I'm excited to ride this board for this season. So the bindings I'm going to be riding this season are the Phoenix Flow Bindings. And I personally really like Flow because of their quick and easy access to get your boot in and out. And that is because I live on a small mountain that you're getting off the chairlift a lot compared to bigger mountains. And I also really like the colors that I've chosen because they go really nice with my board. The helmet that I'm gonna be using this season is the Berm helmet. I personally like this type of helmet that has the lip on it. I also like to customize it because I just recently picked this up so I have no stickers on it. It's really lightweight but still keeps your head safe. The sweatshirt I'm going to be wearing this season is the Burton sweatshirt. It is a really nice sweatshirt for snowboarding or just wearing around the house. And I've been wearing this for the past two years and I really highly recommend it. The snow pants I'm gonna be wearing for this year are just traditional snow pants. I don't really have a preference in what snow pants you get as long as they're waterproof and they help you stay dry. One thing that many people don't have are snowboarding socks. I highly recommend you getting snowboarding socks because they help keep your feet warm and from snow getting in your boots. So I have a longer pair for when it's colder out that goes to your knee, and I have a shorter pair when it's warmer out and you don't need as much protection. So when you're a YouTuber like me, your GoPro stuff starts to build up a little bit, like a lot and a lot so i'm just gonna be going over what you need for on the mountain when i go up on the mountain there's six six things that i do not leave without and the first thing is a gopro hero 7. the gopro hero 7 came out about two or three years ago it's a really good gopro that i use with a gimbal because it doesn't have as good a stabilization as the other two models of gopro and this is the Halham iSteady Pro E. 
which is really nice for stabilization and getting really good shots. Another thing I do not leave without are three extra batteries. Three extra batteries are really important because when you're in the cold conditions on a mountain, your batteries will go so fast. The more essentials that I never leave out is just a simple grip. So you never know when you're just gonna need a grip. Well, whether if you just wanna film yourself or you have somebody else with you. I also like to have a selfie stick to get shots where you're like this, and this is a really sturdy selfie stick that will not like flims around, so you're really able to snowboard with it. Lastly, I have a traditional helmet mount. Helmet mounts are helpful when you're by yourself and you just wanna get a shot of you going off that jump. snowboarder should have is a waxing kit. Waxing kits are really helpful to keep your board up to date and I'm going to go over some of the things that you need. So the first thing you need is a simple base cleaner. This helps clean your board and gets all the access wax off your board from your last time you waxed it. You also need wax. So the wax that I have is just a white wax that you can just get on Amazon and it is Demon brand. So I also have a demon iron, waxing iron, and this is a really nice iron because it is small, but it also works really great. Even if you have a wax kit, I highly recommend you getting also some tools for your board, like scrapers, edgers, sharpeners, all the things that will keep your board from running smoothly on the snow. If you're an all-mountain boarder, I would highly recommend getting a snowboard backpack. Snowboard backpacks are very helpful for keeping all your important things or your snacks or safety equipment, anything that you need on the mountain so you don't have to go back to the lodge. The backpack that I have is a Quest Day Pack. You can just get this at your local REI, snowboard shop, anywhere that you go that has backpacks. So a bonus thing that I have here is stomp pads. I have a crab grab stomp pad and these are actually really nice for riding with only one foot and they also give a little bit more style points on your board. Okay guys, that's it for today. We are heading out to Utah this year, so stay tuned for those videos. I'm gonna do a travel video and probably two mountain videos. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see some helmet stickers for the Shred Squad. And th that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.